Good morning. This is client centric Anna Ng, client centric property. Okay. Um. Today, this morning, I'm looking into the HDB Map Services because we have this HDB um app that most agents are using. I'm not so sure about the buyers. Okay. But in this uh Map Services, I realized that um usually when I use a laptop or a computer, I'm able to reach out for more information. So here I am, go to Google, type in a uh, HDB map services, you should be able to link up to this page where it says HDB map services. Okay, uh, it's something that the government has provided. Okay, so once you're in here, um, this is some of the common questions that the buyers are asking about, about housing. Okay, about the HDB, what is the lease, what is the breakdown of flats and resale flat prices and the season parking, how much is it? Okay, and also about the shops in the neighborhood. So in this case, I'm looking for this housing. So either I enter address, for example, I'm going to check on this place for the customer, right? Okay, as you can see, right, um, what happened here is right over here, this one will be the block. Okay, it shows me on the lease start date, okay, which is 1st of October 1985. If you can see this, the lease duration is 99 years and the remaining lease is 65 years. Okay, this is important to the buyers who would like to check if they're eligible for loan and for CPF use utilization. Okay, and then of course, besides this important thing, we also want to know what is the breakdown. Because we have customers who tell me that uh, I want to stay in a four room flat, but I want a flat to be a mixture between four and five bedrooms. Oh, sorry, four and four, uh, four and five rooms HDB. And whereas for some, they tell me they do not want to be a mixture with three room flats for four room. Okay, so it's like who's your neighbor kind of thing. So under this breakdown, you will see that in this whole block, this entire block, right? Everything is four room and it's a pure four room. Okay not the hybrid, it's a pure forum with 110 units. Okay, and then at the same time, if you click on this ethnic group, you are able to check on the eligibility. Okay, ethnic means what if you're a Chinese seller, you want to sell to an Indian or Malay buyer? Or what if an Indian or Malay buyer wants to buy from a Chinese seller? Okay, so this is um, the thing that we have to take note of. Okay, then if you would like to check on the resale flat prices of the block, okay, as a buyer, you can inquire right here. Okay, you can see that in January, right, um, four rooms are transacted averagely between only 325 for this year. However, click here for more details. Okay, for but however, notice that under this resale flat prices, okay, uh, although we have a pure four room flat in this entire block, but note that for HDB, we have corner units and corridor units and corridor corners or intermediate corners. So in this case, right, in this situation, the one that was transacted at a low 325,000 or a 310,000, the size transacted was actually 84 square meters. And my client's unit is actually a model A at 104 square meters okay and in last year february right someone had already transacted at four hundred eleven thousand and five hundred dollars okay and that was a uh four to six floor which is the middle stack uh the middle range which is like um we call it the mid levels okay not meat lovers but mid levels okay so for this one here mid levels is already at four one one five hundred Right, so this is the kind of um, pricings that uh, perhaps the seller is looking at because we do not compare them with the 84 square meters since the size is a 104. But it's not just this that we are doing. We are also comparing it with our real-time information on hand via the SRX and 99.co. Okay, and as well as we'll be moving on to a wider range of flats around this area to check what should be the rough indicative valuation? Okay, because we need to advise the buyers. We need to advise the buyers when it comes to this. 
uh, roughly what could the valuation come up to? We cannot tell them that, oh, definitely there's no COV, cash over valuation. It will be quite unfair to the buyer if the valuation comes out otherwise, right? So we have to give them the clearest picture as much as we can, right? And so, yeah, this is about it for today. And thank you very much. This is Anna Ng from Client Centric Property. Um, I hope you have a takeaway from my sharing on this HDB map services. And thank you very much. Bye bye.